What happens if you compare M2 to the S&P? You notice here it's just going steadily higher, 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 and then suddenly it goes vertical for March of 2020, just for, the, for about a two-year span, it just went vertical. Well, that's the effect it had on the S&P. There's a direct correlation between, you know, what the Fed is juicing the market with uh, lots of money supply and the effect it had on the S&P. It, it just went up. Now, here's the interesting thing. M2 has actually been going down for the last year or so. And guess what? The S&P is going down. But what I would draw your attention to is the idea that Look back here in 87, okay, the S&P went down, but did M2 go down? Well, not really, you know, not appreciably. I mean, you could say maybe it went flat for a little bit, but it didn't really go down. And if you, if you move forward, let me see if I can get the cursor here. Well, I can't move it, so I'm going to make a new one. Okay, if you look at this one, um, 2001, again, you can see M2 is still sort of steadily moving higher, even as the stock market went down hard. And you can look here, the same thing, it just, it's just moving steadily higher. So this is kind of interesting because, you know, obviously it's the result of the Fed overdoing money supply um, this huge burst of, of, of money supply, this huge spike, you know, vertical move up. Never in the history have you seen it going vertical like this. So, you know, it stands to reason that, yeah, they need to do QT. Uh, are they done? Well, that's what people argue about. But I think it's interesting that, you know, it, you can look back here. It's hard to find a time when M2 went down or at least for any length of time. It, it went flat a few times, but it hardly ever went down. So I think this is extraordinary and it explains why the S&P is going down. But the question is, um, people have the idea that, oh, okay, the correction is almost over. Fed's going to stop raising rates in the spring. We're going to go right back up again. I don't know if that's correct. I think it's interesting the main thing, I, whatever your view is on the stock market, I just want to point out that there is a huge correlation and you'd be hard pressed to find a similar, you know, experience where M2 actually went down. It went flat or it went steadily higher, even as stock market went down. So I like it. I, I think this is a neat chart. And, uh, you know, um, let's let's follow M2. Let's see what happens.